Kakapu and Kavapu look very similar because of their shared poodle ancestry. Other minor differences are due to their different spaniel parents. These designer dogs are very famous for their hypoallergenic coats, teddy bear looks, and lively personalities. These mixed dogs are specifically bred for their desired temperaments and are not recognized by the American Kennel Club because of their hybrid breeding. The main difference between the two dogs is their lineage. The Cockapoo is a mixed breed dog created by crossbreeding a poodle and a cocker spaniel. The Cavapoo, on the other hand, was created through the crossbreeding of a poodle and a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. The initial breeding of the Cockapoo may have happened by an accident. They were first created in the United States in the 1960s. However, they gained popularity in the early 2000s. The Cockapoo breed combines the best traits of both its parents. It combines the intelligence and the hyperallergenic coat of a poodle with the affectionate and playful nature of a Cocker Spaniel. The Cavapoo is a relatively new dog breed. It first appeared in Australia in the late 1990s. Unlike Cockapoo, the Cavapoo breed was intentionally bred after the success of other poodle mixed breeds. The Cavapoo breed is younger than the Cockapoo. The goal was to develop a dog breed that combines the intelligence and hyperallergenic coat of a poodle with the friendliness and calmness of a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Both breeds have almost similar coats. Their coat type, however, can vary even within the same litter. Both breeds could have three possible coat types. It's also called flat coat. The fur grows up to be straight and long. It is inherited from their respective Spaniel parents. This coat has fur that is slightly wavy to curly. In a cockapoo, it can form a ringlet-like structure. This coat type has been passed down from both parents. The fur on this coat is shorter and curlier. It is inherited from the poodle parents. The shedding and hyperallergenic level of both breeds depend upon their coat type. Curly coats are inherited from the poodle parent so it sheds almost zero and is considered ideal for allergic people. Stray coats are inherited from their respective spaniel parents and shed heavily. It's not suitable for people who are allergic to it. The wavy coat type falls in between and has a medium shedding level. It's recommended for people with mild allergies. Technically, there is no such thing as a 100% hypoallergenic dog. All dogs shed and none of the breed is completely hyperallergenic. However, these mixed dog breeds shed significantly less and are best for allergic people. They both require moderate to high maintenance. Their curly coats require the most grooming. Curly coats are prone to matting and may require professional grooming. Straight coats require the least amount of grooming. However, when compared with each other, the Kakapu has relatively more grooming requirements than the Kavapu. There are some differences in the energy level and exercise demand of both breeds, and they are mainly because of their different spaniel genes. The Kakapu is more energetic and requires more exercise than the Kavapu. They are highly energetic dogs who love outdoor activities, so they are best suited for families and individuals who have an active lifestyle. Kavapu dogs, on the other hand, are less energetic and require less exercise. They are calmer and more stable dogs. They don't have the same energy level or exercise requirements as a Kakapu. The difference in exercise and energy levels between the two breeds is solely due to their different Spaniel parents. The Kakapu's parent is a Cocker Spaniel, which is a hunting dog while the Cavapoo's parent is Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, which is a lap dog. Both of the breeds are very intelligent and trainable. Thanks to the Poodle parents, there is no significant difference between the training level of both dogs. When strictly compared with each other, Cavapoo are generally easier to train. Cockapoo requires more time and patience for training. At a young age, both of them have a short attention span. They may not respond well to training at a young age. However, this gets better when they get older. Both breeds are very social and make excellent family pets. 
Cockapoos are more energetic and have higher exercise demands than the Cavapoos, so they are best suited for families with an active lifestyle who can fulfill their high energy demand. Cavapoos, on the other hand, are recommended for families who want a calmer and more relaxed dog breed. They are relatively less energetic and have a quieter lifestyle. Aside from their less energetic level, they make excellent family dogs. Cockapoo get along well with older kids who love outdoor activities. Cavapoo, on the other hand, form strong bonds with small children because of their small size and laid-back personality. However, it's just a general rule of their bonding with the children. They are gentle, loving, and affectionate dogs who get along well with children and other family members. Both of the breeds can get along well with other dogs and pets. However, you need to socialize and introduce them at a young age. Both breeds don't like being left alone for long periods of time. When strictly compared, Cockapoos are more prone to separation anxiety than Cavapoos. It's because of their active lifestyle and higher exercise demand than the Cavapoos. Both breeds don't bark excessively. Comparatively, Cockapoos are more vocal than Cavapoos. The Cavapoo is a calmer and more relaxed dog breed. Every dog barks, and it is a natural way for them to communicate with humans. The barking level of a dog can vary within the individual dog. Neither of the breed is a guard dog. However, Cockapoo are more curious and may warn you if an intruder is approaching. The Cockapoo is a more adaptable dog breed that can easily adapt to apartment life. Although they are playful dogs and require a more active lifestyle, if you provide them with regular walks and exercise, they can adjust to apartment life. However, the standard size of these breeds, which is the largest size, is more suitable for larger homes. Cavapoo is best for apartment life. They have a moderate exercise demand and can live happily in an apartment. Their small size, lower energy level, and moderate exercise demand make them an excellent choice for apartment life than the Cockapoo. Both Cockapoo and Cavapoo are small to medium-sized dogs that come in more than one size. When these breeds are compared with each other, it is obvious that the Cockapoo is slightly bigger than the Cavapoo. A Cockapoo comes in four different sizes, standard, miniature, toy, and teacup. The largest size is a standard Cockapoo, also known as a Maxi Cockapoo. It stands 15 to 18 inches tall and weighs 19 pounds or more. The teacup cockapoo is the smallest size, standing less than 10 inches tall and weighing around 6 pounds or less. Since cockapoo are descended from Cavalier Charles Spaniel, which is a small size breed, they typically come in two sizes, toy and mini. A toy cockapoo stands 9 to 12 inches tall and weighs 7 to 13 pounds. A miniature Cavapoo stands between 12 and 14 inches tall and weighs between 13 and 20 pounds. Both breeds have slightly longer lifespans than most dogs. Cockapoo has a life expectancy of 12 to 18 years, while Cavapoo has a life expectancy of 10 to 15 years. However, an individual dog could live longer or shorter than these depending on factors such as diet, genetics, and overall health. Both dogs are healthier than their parents. Typically, the mixed dog breeds tend to be healthier than their purebred parents because of a phenomenon known as hybrid vigor. When it comes to size, there is another trend in the dog world. A smaller size of dog tends to live longer than the larger size. For example, a teacup cockapoo will live longer than the standard cockapoo. 